Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is The Real Legend, and we are back with some NBA 2K Mobile. We are here with a predictions video. We found out that the Rainmaker Steam is dropping next week. A couple sneak peeks have been revealed by NBA 2K Mobile, so we're going to go right into our theories. So the first thing, the obvious one, is right on the screen. We see that there is a Steph Curry score leaders pack available, which is featuring the Rainmaker Stephen Curry. Artwork is incredible. If you remember the Rainmaker's theme from last year, it was fire. And this one here, somehow found a way to top that. Insane card, it is a diamond, so you know it's gonna be one of the top cards to have on your lineup for head-to-head -head or any other game mode, because Steph Curry is that good in the game. Now, there was more information revealed on official Twitter announcement, so we'll go into that, and then afterwards, we'll go into our predictions, and I'll show you the last Rainmaker's theme, because most likely there will be some players that will be returning again. So straight from the NBA 2K Mobile Twitter account, if you're not doing so, be sure to follow them and myself at the real legend but it says next week's forecast rain right team will also include a courier too if you see the play on there it is dame dollar damian lillard because it's dame time he will be featured in the lineup i don't know what damian lillard's rarity is yet i'm going to guess that he probably is a diamond since he is being featured as the sneak peek announcement now it also says team will also include a courier too we know that there is a stephen curry already so the easiest choices will be Seth Curry or Del Curry. I'm gonna kick off my predictions and say that it will be Seth Curry. And I'm gonna give you some information to support that. So let's get into it. All right, so this was the Rainmaker's theme last year. It was kicked off with an Emerald Steve Kerr, Emerald Del Curry, Emerald Brooke Lopez, a Sapphire Wally Serviak, a Sapphire Hersey Hawkins, a Sapphire Buddy Hill, a Ruby Kevin Love, a Ruby Peja Stajakovic, which at the time was the best shooter in the game. He had a six in mid-range and a six and three-point shot. A Ruby Carl Anthony Towns, Amethyst Trey Young, Amethyst Bradley Bill, and Amethyst Kristaps Porzingis, and Onyx Devin Booker, Onyx Clay Thompson, which was on everybody's lineup. He was definitely one of the bucket getters at the time. Onyx Larry Bird, Diamond Ray Allen, which was the debut for Ray Allen. Diamond Stephen Curry, which was such an incredible card. And then the Diamond Dirk and Whiskey, which was also a great card for everybody to get. Then afterwards, the Rainmaker's theme came back as a returning theme towards the end of Season 2. And I'll show you what players were added for that. For the returning Rainmaker's theme, they added a Pink Diamond Tobias Harris, a Pink Diamond Chauncey Billups, which is one of my mentors right now, so I was excited to cop to get him on my squad. It was also the debut of Chauncey, one of the best point guards in the game right now, and a Pink Diamond James Harden. So I'm expecting any one of those players to return again. But there's a few other players that were not featured in this theme that I think could be added as well. All right, so because the tweet said a few Curries will be mentioned, it could be Del Curry since he was in Rainmakers last year. But I do believe Seth Curry is going to be recognized because the reality of it, he's one of the best shooters of all time as well. Got to put some respect on Seth Curry's name for sure. But we're over here in basketballreference.com. And I'm looking at the top NBA three-point field goal percentage players of all time. And this is why Steve Kerr is praised so much. He has the highest three-point percentage of all time. Now, obviously, Steve Kerr was not taking nearly as many shots as the players now. Uh, he was a bench player, great in the Bulls championship runs, of course. He wasn't taking as many shots as Stephen Curry, obviously. But he was number one over all time. So I expect him to be returning again. Uh, we had Hubert Davis, had a great run with the Knicks. I don't expect Hugh Davis to be in the theme. Seth Curry is number three on that list if you take a look. Almost averaging 44% all time. Joe Harris is another player that I think will be featured. And once again, we've been asking for this player, Drazen Petrovic. I thought he would have been great for the international theme, but sometimes things take time to set up. He could be featured in his theme. He is fifth all time for three point percentage. And I'm sure if he had a full NBA career, he would have been on top of many leaderboards. And we got Stephen Curry at number six. Jason Capone was a great shooter back then, but these are players that I don't think will be added. Tim Legler, neither. Steve Novak, another great Nick. Kyle Culver, I can see being added to the theme. Another player that I believe will be added since he has been one of the newest players added this season. And he's there's a lot of hype around Steve Nash. He's a legend, MVP. He's on the list as well. BJ Armstrong, 
great in the Chicago Bulls run. I don't think he'll be at it. We could see a Duncan Robinson. I know a lot of members of the community have been asking for Duncan Robinson. He was great in the bubble last year. We should definitely see Klay Thompson. He was in the theme last year. Wesley Person, I don't think will be at it. Neither will be Anthony Morrow. We could see a Joe Ingles. I don't think Luke Kennard will be at it, but I do see JJ Redick. Matt Bonner, I don't think so either. Dana Barrows was a bucket getter. Davis Bertans, I can see being at it. Brian Forbes, I'm not too sure. And notice the players that are in bold are active players, so they do have a higher chance. Uh, we got Daniel Gibson, Jose Calderon. I'm going to breeze through the list a little bit. Buddy Hill was in it last year. Doug McDermott. Otto Porter's on this list. Allen Houston will be incredible. As a Knicks fan, that will be insane. Del Curry's on there. I would also really like to see Mark Price. I do believe he was like the first Steph Curry, him and Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Those players were playing just like Curry was back then. Sharp shooters, really good scorers. The game would have been so different if they played now. Uh, we also got Danny Green, who I think could be added to the theme. Ben Gordon would be great, right? I thought he would have been good for the international theme. Perry Stachowicz is already in it. Ray Allen's already in it. Glenn Rice would be awesome as well. Craig Hodges, we had some good three-point contest highlights from him. Kenny the Jet Smith. Technically, he's 51. He could be at it. Landry Shamit, I think it's still too new of a player to be at it. Jason Tatum, who dropped 60 last night, could make the theme, right? He's shooting a little bit under 40% all time, and we know he's getting the shots up. But big shout out to him, man. The, the Celtics were down at halftime by a lot of points, and they made a comeback. One of the greatest comebacks I've ever seen. We got CJ McCollum that could be added as well. Chris Middleton. Paul Anthony Towns, believe it or not, is one of the best shooting bigs in all in all time history. Right? He's shooting a little under 40% as well from the three-point line. Gary Trent has been super popular. He has been on fire as well. He can be added. Would love to see Reggie Miller, but that's a long shot. We've expressed that in the past. Jerry Dudley, I don't think he's going to be at it. Reggie Bullock, as a Knicks fan, I appreciate him. I'm ex I was very excited when they signed him a few years ago because he was a bucket getter on the Pistons. Bojan Bagdanovich could be at it as well. Malik Beasley, too. I don't think Myers Leonard will be at it. Kyrie Irvin could be added as well. He's technically in the top 100 for three-point percentage. Mitch Richmond is another fan favorite that people are asking for. Chauncey Billups was in the theme last year. Easy to add him again. And the list keeps going on. I'm going to stop pretty soon. Because if not, I'll be naming like every NBA player in history. But I also see Colin Sexton. He's been bowling out too. Uh, he's been injured over the last couple days. But he's had a pretty good season too. Malcolm Brogdon could be added too. And Paul George will be the last person. And Chris Mullen. That's it. They could be added to this theme. Um, even Kevin Durant and Zach Levine. I see them on the list. Kawhi Leonard. But those are possible options for the Rainmakers 2.0 in my opinion. Because this was the theme last year. And they brought it back with the same name. It made sense, right? Because Rainmakers might have been the most popular theme after the GOAT theme. As everyone knows with the GOAT theme, it was hence the title, right? But the Rainmakers were super popular. All right, so those are the predictions I got for this theme. We will find out more information on Monday. I will drop my theme breakdown video, of course. Uh, we could do our stats breakdown. I'm doing that per request because it takes a long time to compile the stats. But if you guys want it, I definitely will drop it. As far as other content, uh, we did a Supercard Pack opening. Hoping to be able to do another one next week as well. It seems like their themes are a week after... Uh, a week before the NBA 2K Mobile themes from what I'm noticing. So it's possible a new featured pack could be coming very soon. Uh, we did the Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, which was incredible. I've been grinding their events as well. They have Domination event, which I believe is a lot of fun. Very different in the Domination than NBA 2K Mobile. Um, this one here has a really cool card element strategy to it. It's a ton of fun so far. And then we also did some NBA 2K21 Mobile content. We did the My Career episode number three. Right now, I haven't seen a lot of support on that video. If you guys can definitely show it some love. Now, if you're a new player looking to get better NBA 2K Mobile, we got a playlist on how to get good players. And if you enjoy pack openings, we have a playlist for that as well. So definitely turn on your notifications. We'll be doing a pack opening for the Rainmakers theme as well. 
As always, I appreciate all the support. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.